Okay, hello and welcome. Now, you are looking at Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fade between photos. And it's really not too difficult. Now, I primarily use Camtasia and I use Sony Vegas. And uh, occasionally I might use uh, the Adobe program. But uh, I do have, I, I work with a couple of business owners that um, they like to use Windows Movie Maker and so I'm going to do this little brief tutorial to kind of show you how to work with the photos. Now I'm going to slide just a, a, a photo onto the timeline. I'm going to slide a couple of them on here. A couple of different ones here. And if we were if we were actually going to make an actual movie out of this or we're going to actually make an actual slideshow um, I'm going to put at least one of these photos on the timeline and I'm going to come up here and then I'm going to add in my soundtrack but in this particular case all we're really doing is I'm going to show you how to uh, fade between these photos now I'm going to bring this uh, I'm going to bring the, the cursor all the way back to the beginning here and uh, when we when we play this and you'll notice at the preview what it's going to do is when it gets to the next photo, right, you'll see it making a transition here. It's just going to change. But what we want to do is we want it to fade or we want it to be an effect as it goes between uh, these, these photos as it moves along. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to take this back to the beginning of the timeline. And all we're really going to do is we're going to go to the um, animations. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the transition. So um, we're going to add in the transition uh, that we want. And actually, when we start the transition, we're going to have to start it from here. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add in the transition that we want. And Windows Movie Maker gives you plenty to do. You've got a pretty wide assortment there, so make sure you scroll through. Uh, the one that you want and we'll use the X right and then we'll put another one here and we'll put the X there and what we could do is that when we click this one we can click apply to all so now all of the slides have a transition and so when we actually play the actual slide it's going to fade into the other one with one of these effects right so it's pretty pretty simple and uh, if that's the way you want to do your slideshow you can certainly do that and it really does add a nice effect to it okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video